folks, thanks for joining once again today. I'm doing something very different. It's something I actually haven't done on the channel ever before. It's usually something that only the cool reviewers can do. So I'm very honored that I've been able to introduce to you the Atti Stack. Now, there has already been a short video on this channel talking about what the Atti Stack is and all that kind of stuff. You can see all these crazy music. This is going to be a little bit more slowed down. We're going to talk about all the different options available with the Atti Stack, what it is, how the idea come about, and what's available to you. So without further ado, let's go down to the table and check out the Atti Stack. So folks, here we are down at the table and I'm going to basically talk you through, first of all, everything to do with the Attistack, what it is, how it works, where the idea came from, what the heck all this stuff is down here, all the different products in the range. I want to talk about the rods, you can just see a little bit of the rods just down the bottom there, how it all fits together, the strength of the Attistack and how strong it is, because I know there's been some concerns about that. Uh, and basically we end up with just talking briefly about the future and kind of what's coming next from Atti Stack because there is some new, uh, plans in place. There's some uh, newer products that are going to be released in the next coming weeks or months. So I want to talk about that. Um, first of all, talking about Atti Stack itself, where did the idea come from? Well, basically, I've got a number of different kind of stands for atomizers and I've got things like this for Boros. Basic Boro trays, these are very inexpensive, very affordable and very simple, very basic, but they definitely do the job of holding everything in place. And I've got a couple of these kind of things, some of the round ones for your tanks and drippers, and they're all fine. I've also got things that are a little bit more kind of upmarket, I suppose, like this. This is the Steve Dilligaff Porter Piston at your stand. And these are just wonderful, beautiful bits of kit, wonderfully made, really, really nice. I've got this in a slightly bigger one as well. Really, really love them. And of course, there's things like the Bearded Viking Custom Stands that are awesome, they look super, super cool. My problem was, I was struggling with space horizontally, but I had lots of vertical space, but I couldn't fill it because everything's just kind of plonked on the ground or on the worktop or on the shelf, just flat. So I was using a lot of shelf space, but none of the height on that shelf. So I kind of come up with this solution. So basically the anti-stack is a stackable tray system and it all kind of started with the very basics, which look very similar to this. So I'm going to talk you through what all these trays are and how they all go together. But this is kind of one of the initial ideas was literally just a bottom tray, some rods, a second tray, some rods and a third tray. And that was kind of basically, and that's kind of what the starter kit idea is, which is available on the website for 15 quid. What I'm doing now is just go through all different type of trays that are currently available. Then we go through rods and we're just counting from there. So there are two main Atti bases available. And this was actually an idea from the FCV gang about having an actual base plate. Um, so what we designed was two different styles. The first one being this one. You've got your tray there, which you can fit any of the Atti trays into if you want. Just like that. And you kind of pop it out just like that. Or you can fit rods in the base and rise that up before you start your tray levels. Along with that, you can fit four 30 millimeter atomizers at the back there and three 25s. Now this is uh, 15 millimeters in height. It's fairly sturdy. Of course, once you fill this with a tray in your tanks, very, very sturdy. It's a good footprint for you to build on top of which is very, very good. And that's available like this, or it's available in a battery orientation, which is a little bit better for 18650s and things like that. But this is the MIDI version a slightly larger version, so very good if you want to stack tanks at the front. Carrying on from there, this one is a new, probably the newest addition to the Atti Stack line. This is the drip tip tray. Now, what this allows for is a number of 810 or your flush nuts from your boros to sit on there, and you also have a number of rows in the middle there for your 510. So, for example, if you've got your 510, you just kind of push them in like, like, like that. If you've got your drip tips, you just plonk them in like that. Or if you've got your flush nuts like this, they sit in there as well, just like that. Now, these aren't push fit and they're not in there solid because of the slight differences in drip tip dimensions. There is a little bit of tolerance there to allow for kind of even the largest 810s, even the largest 510s that I've managed to get my hands on over the last couple of weeks to kind of allow for that. And you can see it's pretty good. Carrying on from there, we've got all the different tank sizes, starting with the 30 millimeter. This is for four 30 millimeter tanks. They fit in nice and snug, but you do also have a little bit of room there for bubble glasses. Carrying on, got the 28, very much the same, just four 28 millimeters. 25 millimeter tanks on here. And lastly, another new addition. Actually, this might be the newest edition. I'm getting all confused. This is for 22 millimeters. Now, obviously, the beauty of this one is you can get five 22 millimeter tanks on here. Now, if you are using bubble glasses, I must advise it is a little bit on the tight side for some of those wider bubble glasses, but generally 22 millimeter tanks don't tend to have kind of serious 
bubble glasses. Now this is the version two of the Boro tray. Basically the, the issue we come across, actually it was Sean Garber come across this. Uh, some of the Boros have these large airflow rings at the bottom and with the original Boro tray design, you couldn't always fit those in. So we've changed it to be a bigger opening in there. And as you can see, they sit in there nice and snug. But you can also use just your normal standard Boro sizes like that. Things like the Stubby, the Orca Stubby Boro tank fit in really nicely as well. Uh, we've tried a number of different Boro tanks to be able to kind of cater for as many as we possibly could. And, and we found pretty much the right tolerances we believe to kind of allow for pretty much every Boro. But yet there may be some that just don't quite fit, unfortunately. But for the majority, you're really not going to have a problem. And that's actually one of our best sellers, the Boro tray at the minute going on to the batteries you've got five times 21 700s now we had to fiddle around with this one quite a bit for, for a number of reasons the main one being wrap sizes if you've got things like a molly cell 21 700 they fit in there but they are in there quite loose as you can see there is a little bit of movement but if you've got something like the home tech batteries the home run batteries for example 21 700 the wrap is so thick on them they kind of fit in there very very snug but we have allowed for that tolerance difference just so you can fit these slightly larger 21700 batteries in there going on from there if you're more into 18650s eight times 18650s fit on here no problems at all they stand up very very nicely again same kind of thing with the wraps it all depends on the wraps how well or how snug they'll fit or how snug you like them you might not want your batteries to be very snug but nonetheless you can fit all types of different 18650s on this tray no problem at all last two in the range first of all the deep stack tray deep stack's very good for i think you can store all sorts of things in this your coils you might want to store your drip tips uh things like some tools some tools screwdrivers things will be longer than this but you can just kind of rest them just like that no problems at all and you know it's a place to just store stuff the, tw the twin shallow tray is again very similar very good for things like coils and drip tips and bits and bobs that you just want to keep in there nice and discreet now we are in the in the works of making a kind of a lid which is ideally for the deep stack a little lid that you can just lift off and hide everything away also someone said a good idea about having it at the bottom there and having a lid on that and then it looks like a little stash box and no one's even gonna know what the heck is going on in that box so that's another idea now when it comes to building this bad boy you're going to need rods we can see down here now at the minute we have four different size rods now these rods are again 3d printed just like the rest of it that's the 80 millimeter you've just seen there in orange this is 70 millimeter which i'm just dropping right before there's a 70 millimeter rod we've got 60 millimeter rods these ones in purple right here are the 60 millimeter rods and we've got 50 millimeter rods now if you go onto the yak stack website and you find yourself on vaping style and you are a boro user and you decide you just want two boro shelves and that's all you need with each tray that you get you will get a set of rods suited for that now there are variances for example some people who buy the boro tray might have four of the stubby orca boro tanks which obviously are a lot taller so the supplied rods you get with the boro tray are the 50 millimeter rods and what you basically do you just line that up with the hole give it a little push and that rod is in and again you do all four rods push them all in and then they're nice and snug they're not going to come out very easily but you can wiggle and pull and out they come just like that so if you do have something like the orca stubby boro tank you might want to look at getting some of these 60 or 70 millimeter rods as well just to allow for that height difference when it comes to the 30s and the 28 millimeter tanks they obviously come with taller rods than the 20s and the 25 millimeters that's obviously just to allow for taller tanks well, things like the deep stack trays and the and the drip tip trays you're going to get the 50 millimeter the shortest rods now what i'm going to quickly do now is just kind of very quickly put together a very basic simple uh, simple system something that i would probably set up if it was with my kit i'm going to speed this bit up but just to give you an idea of what it takes to put together a very simple setup which probably caters for a lot of people with kind of a bit of everything so let's crack on with it now I'm quickly going to just slow down for a second because pushing these rods in does take a little bit of force. Always good to use it on a flat surface, but you'll hear a really nice kind of satisfying sound from pushing these rods into these holes. So that's the first layer one. Let's carry on. Again, once you get this in place, you probably just want to line one side up, push it down, and then line the other side up and push them down. 
Now this is a really good point where you can just stop and make sure everything's level. And you might be able to tell, you might not, but these aren't quite level. So I find the best thing to do when you've got a train like this, just give it a little squeeze from each of the corners, or you can even if you want, just kind of push it in like that, and you'll definitely squeeze everything into place nice and square. Once you've done that, you can keep building. Again, I've got this just like this. I'm just going to push in like that just to make sure. A little push there, you see, it's all nice and square. And they're uh, looking pretty good, pretty fun. And there we go, that is a very simple setup we've got here, right here. So basically what we've got is the anti-stack MIDI at the base for a number of 30 millimeters and 25 millimeters. I've put the 21700s at the bottom there because first of all, you probably want more of the weight at the bottom, but it doesn't really matter. Also, I've used the longer 80 millimeter rods, which allows enough room to comfortably fit the 21700s in there. And there is a bit of clearance quite nicely there as well and they fit really really well now if you're getting the 18650 tray they do come with the 70 millimeter rods which do allow for a snug gap but you could if you wanted to get the taller rods if you wanted more space obviously on top of that 30 millimeters then we've got our boros with a nice 50 millimeter gap there for your boros and i'll pop the drip tips on top so that's just a basic idea of just a very simple setup now that is about as fun and crazy to get with colors but again you can customize this as much as you want we've got a number of different colors available on the site and you can customize to your heart's content now there is like i said before the basic starter kit which is 15 pounds now in that kit you get three trays of your choice there's a number of different options available so say for example you could get one with a 30 millimeter a 25 and the 18650 tray and you would get the three trays of the same color and you'll get three sets of rods suited to those trays and you'll end up with something like this but all in the same color of course now from that you can build as much as you want you could pick up one of the base trays like this but we have a number of different things available from that as well again if you wanted to customize it you bought the basic setup with the single colors and you wanted different color rods then just pick up a set of rods moving on to strength there's some people have been concerned about this and strength is going to be done in kind of two parts first of all, i'm going to show you this which is a transparent version of the kit which isn't unfortunately available on the site orange will be available very soon orange isn't currently available that is the next color to be added but transparent unfortunately is not because if i'm honest with you it's a bit ugly but i want you to look right here now with transparent you can kind of see if my camera wants to behave itself you can kind of see inside a little bit and you can see these kind of crisscrosses going on that is the infill in a 3d printer that is infilling strength now i can make those more dense which would be a stronger more compact material or could have less of them which should get rid of some of that strength. But all these trays have this exact kind of infill inside, which does give them some strength. Now, sure, if you sat on these trays, they're gonna break. But if I try and bend that, there is a bit of flex, but there is memory. This is what they call PAL, PLA Plus, which is a slightly stronger, uh, more durable version of PLA, which is basically your very standard 3D printing material. But a PLA Plus just allows for a little bit more strength, a little bit more durability. So things coming up in the future for Anti-stack, like I say, orange is going to be added to the website very, very soon, to so keep an eye on for that. We're also working on the, dropping everything on the floor. Now, this is an idea you see here, a bit odd, but this corner piece, this little corner piece, which you can have on the corner of a shelf, whatever you want, and then you can stack two trays on top of it as well, and you can go however you like. The corner piece is something which we are looking at. The difficulty with this is there's so many different options you could have at the base here. You could have all batteries, you could have tanks and batteries, you could have drippers and batteries, you could have dripters and batteries, you could have batteries and drippers. You know, it's just kind of a bit tricky to know what's best and what people would prefer. And I almost think sometimes too many options is just too many options. It can get very confusing. But the corner piece is something that's possibly going to be coming out very, very soon. And the last thing I want to show you, as you might have seen right at the back here, is a giant setup that I put together uh, not too long ago, which includes the Atti Base Mega. And drip tips falling over the place now to give you a little idea of what is this base this is a really ugly version of it it was the demo version this is the kind of trial version so there are some blemishes there are some dodgy bits on this one but just ignore that because this is the first copy of it this mega base allows for 630 millimeters 828 millimeters 725 millimeters 
and six 810 drip tips, along with stacking twice. This is 20 millimeters in height. It's a huge thing. It's got extra infill, so this has got extra density inside that plastic. So it's got a nice weight to it, a really, really solid base. And you can see here, I've stacked it out pretty much as, well, you can go as high as you want, but as you can see, got pretty much fully loaded at the bottom. Then I've got all my RDAs on, on there. Now, all these push fit rods, which are you know, just push fit, they're not glued in. I could pull this all apart if you want me to prove it. But there's enough strength there to hold this from the top and lift the whole thing up. And the rods are such a nice tight fit, nothing's falling out or creaking or cracking. So it's a really solid build. Now, when it comes to storage, that is a great option if you've got a lot of tanks, but you want somewhere to store them. But you need to start going up rather than just flat on the desk. And that's the Addy Base Mega is currently the largest one we do in the range. I think that pretty much covered it, apart from this double tray. <laughs> Go back to this again. The double tray. The double tray is something, again, we're planning on adding to the site. It's similar to the corner, but again, you can have double the width, your double is wide, and again, can be added really, really nicely to the mega base. But with the base, this base, you could add single trays. So you don't have to have these double wide trays. You can stack up like that, which means more color variations as you go. Right, I think that's it. The basic idea is to have full color customization from your Atti stack, along with being completely modular, allowing you to stack this up however you like, and with whatever styles or whatever tanks or batteries you have, you've got a customized kit for what you need. I think that's about it. We better jump up top. Thanks very much. So there you have it. That is everything I can possibly tell you about the Atti stack. Of course, this isn't a review, so I can't tell you my own personal opinions on, on it, which obviously I think it's brilliant, but obviously I designed it, so I'm going to say that. Really, it's up to you guys to try this out, give us your opinion. Has it saved you some space in your shelf or in your room or in your house? Has it been a nice accessory? Is it something you can use? There's a lot of great stands out there and atomizer organizers. This is just another one of those, but I feel the stackable option can help a lot of people and that's one of the ideas it's certainly helping me everything is a lot more organized in here which makes a change now another thing just to mention that i didn't mention on the table cam if you are interested in this but you have more of a customized idea something specific that you want to display in a certain way please get in touch there's a number of different styles available but along with that i'm happy to do some custom work as well this is just a small example of something which is compatible with the atti stack this is an infinite mods a tray that I made for what my latest mod that I got from Infinite Mods and as you can see it fits in there nice and snug really really nice addition so if you do have something specific then please get in touch because there are kind of custom designs available as well to suit exactly what you're looking for anyway apart from that please go and check out the site go and have a little look and hopefully it's something that you think about picking up soon I'm Flag of Vapor thanks for watching